what is going on YouTube so today we're gonna go through what I think the top 10 drift zones are in Horizon 3 and we're gonna start from 10 and we're gonna count down to 1 at number 10 we got just this little section here um, it's kind of connect up through here around and back down onto this road and come back and forth and do it over and over again so So that's the silver sands section. Most of these are drift sections. So we got the silver sands right here by the shipwrecks. Try to get a good run for you. Most of these are um, drift zones. Yeah, I don't know. That's number nine. It's not a bad section. We're gonna keep counting down, we're on to number eight. The Kiwa Valley. This one is a, what I think, well, not what I think. This is the highest speed drift zone section. Um, lots of people don't like it. The roast in fifth gear, it's not too bad. Coming in at number 7 we have the Mountain View Drift Zone, this one's kind of, you can only really, well I guess you can go both ways but it's better one way than the other. Most of these drift zones are, um, but it could be up to the person I can. Coming in at number six, we got the Rocky Roadway Speed Zone. This is not a drift zone, but it is a fun section. I don't know why it's not a drift zone, because it is all linkable. It does have that one long straight where you do need to manji in it, but it is a good zone. Alright, we've got down to our top five. Next is the Surface Paradise Run. Um, kind of just come down here, go this way, down here, and then you cut through right where this bonus board is, back up the road this way, around, this way, back, this way, and you can just keep doing a circle. So it's a pretty fun run. Show you what it's about. Number four, we got the Byron Bay Suburbs. This is a good drift zone. It's uh, got some nice banks. I'm not too fond of this big downhill right here, but it's a good one. I have to put it up there because even though it was included in the demo, I still had a lot of fun drifting on it. Um, you know, after the game has been released, it's still a good section. I find myself going back to it from time to time. So let's hit this one up too. Alright, now we're on to my top three drift zones in Horizon 3. 
double hairpin. Pretty sure everyone's all aware of where this is, what it is. It's a pretty fun drift zone. Um, it's a little slow for my liking. I do know lots of people like this one. That's kind of why I made it into the top three. I personally, eh, it's on the fence for top five, but it is a good zone. Um, it's definitely not my number one. And that's why it's number three. So let's get it. Number two. Alright, we're here at the desert drift zone, or the hillside drift zone. Um, this one is up there between one and two. So I really do like my choice for number one. So this is uh, why this one's number two. But this section is super fun. It's got some nice speed. It's got some, you know, takes some skill to get a good score through it. So it's a good section. On to number one. This is hands down my favorite section. You got two drift zones right beside each other. Basically, you just get to keep doing circles. The uh, the bank is super super fun. It's, it's I don't know. I I think it's a perfect bank. It's, it's got a nice turning radius to it. You can just go stiff pretty good. Um, other sections all right, but it's better than not having one type of deal. So I've run this in both directions. I do prefer this way. Um, yeah. was a good one. We're going to end it there. That's it for my top 10 drift, drift sections in Forza Horizon 3. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. See you next time. Peace.